Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious Deary. I'm a Lagos based YouTuber. If you're new on my channel, thank you so much. Please do not make it your last by subscribing to my channel, right? Thank you so much. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know the drill. <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by once more. I really appreciate your love. If you've not seen my last video where I made a sibling tag with my brother, my baby brother, you should see it. It's quite hilarious, right? Okay, guys. So in today's video, it's um it's almost unplanned, yeah. Because let me tell you the truth. <laughs> so I just got back from redemption camp, like forty five minutes ago. And I'm planning, I'm preparing myself for mine is match. My red, if you know, if you know me, you know already that I'm a football lover and I'm a man, you die hard, man, you fan, right? My dress is a little tight here, so hence the red top. Okay, so, um, even though I don't know, I have some mixed feelings about the match, but God do what I will do. <laughs> so, I've kind of got into mine again, anyway. So, in today's video. I just want to share my um, sincere opinion or my sincere experience of Redemption Camp. Over the years, I've been passing that area. I mean, I schooled in Federal Government Girls College, Shagamo. Shout out to you, Shaggy Girls. And I had to pass Redemption Camp every time I was going to school, coming back from school, right? Also, I schooled in Ephelsian State. So, I mean, I had to pass that route as well every time I was going to university or coming back from university. So, I used to wonder, like, I used to even use that piece as a landmark. Oh, I'm now in Redemption Camp. Oh, I'm now, do you understand? But I never, I never thought about going there. I had never even imagined, because I just, the only thing I see is that, oh, there so many people, so many people crowd. There's always, there's always traffic, blah, blah, blah. And I don't like crowd, I don't like busy places. I just like my space and places that are not so crowded, right? But, some days back, I just, my son and I decided to go after being invited by our big daddy. Decided to go to camp. It was a spontaneous moment. Just we went and let's kiss up grandma. And on getting to camp, of course, there were a lot of people and stuff, but it was still, in my opinion, um, organized. I mean, we didn't, nobody bumped into us, nobody bumped into anybody, right? But right to my experience, it was amazing. The prayers, the music. If you know me, I'm really a music lover, right? If you know me, I'm really, really a music lover. And that was a fantastic thing I had to experience because I never would have thought, no shade, or no, not, not, not to even mean anything bad. I never would have, I would have thought that rhythm sings like that. Well, I'm not saying they can, I'm saying they can really, 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 really sing, right? So the song, the music amazing the prayers man pastor here the boy is one blessed man that man is a gift to nigeria is a gift to the nation at large is is a gift to other countries is a gift to the world is a gift to humanity trust me when i say this like and of course my guy was in church <laughs> peter Obi was in church if I find a clip, I'll put it here. Like, it like, is oh, Jesus we are celebrating. And, and, church, and he just showed it. He never see me. <laughs> That's my guy. Mm. Come for me if you want to. But it remains my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. My guy. <laughs> and he was in church. And I was like, yeah. He never see me. You think that, oh, it's my brother or something. Anyways, yeah, apart from that, the prayers were really amazing. I feel so blessed. I feel I feel like burdens are lifted. I know that burdens are lifted. I know that God God's mercy is finding expression through me. I know that God's love is finding expression through me. I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. I'm so, amazed. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Right? It was perfect jubilee. That was a theme and it was amazing. Super amazing. Tonight, I mean you make your spring all night. <laughs> not a semi compassion. But this is this is not a very long video. This is just to say that the experience over 
um, the midweek into weekend was amazing. I just got back, like I said earlier, um, it was amazing. The, the journey all the way there was amazing. The journey back was smooth. I thank God. That's where I've been. Some people were trying to reach my WhatsApp. Next work day was not that good. It was, not, it was not one of the best. It was also the greatest, but I had to go through that. And um, it was stressful though, but it was worth the stress. It was really beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, what else? <laughs> I'm just giving you guys a little catch up, right? Even though you guys might have never noticed, except you're on my WhatsApp or except you talk to me, like you call me and stuff or do business with me. That's when you notice that. This mom, this lady was not really available like that for like two to three days, right? So that was it, that was it, that was it, that was it. If you've been to Redemption Camp before, why not just share your experiences? This video is not necessarily for everyone, but then again, for everyone, I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed myself in Redemption Camp. I'm all pumped about it, I'm all sad because maybe because my first time, maybe because of the experience, because it was amazing, like, I felt God like never before. I even had a word for some three teenagers praying that were praying. I met them praying at the altar. I had the word for them and I feel bad that I didn't quickly go up to them. I was just I was trying to, I was trying to consider should I go? Should I not go? Would they snub me? Would they feel like oh is this woman? Uh, what she comes to say? And all that. But before I looked back, before I made up my mind and looked back, they had gone. So I just had to pray for them. And it was a good word anyway. So I had to pray for them and confirm the word. Telling God to confirm his word concerning the three ladies and um, i prayed for the future it's good stuff like that yeah if you saw me by mistake in camp you can as well say it here <laughs> why am i for me like i'm big i'm not big here so by now i'm gonna be big on this youtube someday i'm gonna be big and i'm gonna refer to this video and you're gonna testify with me that she said it why am i just feeling myself in this video so truthfully i knew i was going to do like um a or while my past days went or where I was in, even though it wasn't for long, right? It's not like I was off YouTube for a long time and I'm coming back to do a catch up. But I just think I was going to talk about redemption camp, maybe in a vlog, maybe in a, a sit down video, just chip it in somewhere. But I wore this hair that I've kept in my wig bag for like four months now or five. I, I usually before I wear it normally out like I had to take it to the stylist, to style it, um, tongue it, treat it, just do everything nice to it. But I did that before, once like twice or three times before I kept it in the bag since four months or five months ago. I just got it. Okay, I'm going to wear this to church tomorrow Sunday. And let me just see if I can style it myself because it's quite late to start looking for how to get the stylist, driving out, looking for out for it to get ready. I'm just going to the emergency to collect my money. I'm like, I've seen girls do this thing, ladies do this thing on YouTube by themselves. Why not just try? So I put it on my head, like, okay, let me just wear it. Let me just see how it looks first of all. And know, okay, am I tonguing this way? Am I doing the center part? What am I doing with it? Does it really, do I, am I feeling it for this period? What am I going to church? And I wear it when I started feeling myself home. That's why I now said, okay, let me do this video now. Even though I knew it was not going to be a long video, I was like, let me just do the video now. Let me just do it. Let me just do this video. Right? So, nothing to see here. Just me preaching the gospel. Am I might preaching the gospel or preaching at 10 convention or redemption camp? But, anyways, all of, all of what I'm saying is um, you should experience um, redemption camp for yourself. And it's amazing. God is everywhere, right? I know that God is everywhere. There's no distance in the spirit, but there's this thing about the garden of the saints and um, this thing about um, just segregating, um, isolating yourself. Is it isolating or just taking time out to just be by yourself or with some people, with brethren that are praying together or in a place where you're just, you know, you're free from work, free from disturbances. Just know that I'm here. It's just like you're going to the mountain, like on this mountain, they must be delivered and say, like, period all right <laughs> and if you want to collect oro you can come let me do some lean and when you <laughs> come with your offering please that's just joking but i'm praying for you guys as well my subscribers you guys are amazing god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you i can't thank you enough but please let's do more i really want to get to 500 subscribers at the end of august i can get some more i have the ability to get some more and I have you guys to take me to more than that. But 
let me just say at least 500 subscribers i'm um, i'm three weeks and some days i guess on youtube now and um about 240 subscribers now so please guys let's do 60 more subscribers before the end of august <gasps> that's my earnest desire <laughs> i don't want to be no goofy in this video but guys that's my earnest desire i really want to get to 500 I don't want to get the 500 and some people like you just you're new you're new you're even though mm -hmm, new so i just really want to get 500 subscribers that'll make me feel like i'm doing something great here that'll make me feel like i'm not wasting my time that'll make me feel like people love me <laughs> that'll make me feel like well on a serious note it just makes me feel good it makes me feel like i'm growing it makes me feel like you guys love me just carry because i share my content see let me tell you the truth i like math so let's do the math Say only 10 of you, only 10 of you decides to put my channel link on your WhatsApp status where you have at least 50 people and at least 20 are your friends. So imagine you tell the 20 of them to please subscribe to Precious Dearest channel. What you think? We're going to make it. We're going to make it to 500. All right. You guys, please know. Sure, I should be giving away. <laughs> okay guys I'm, I'm just i'm just messing around i hope that you guys are doing good how's your weekend going i'd like to know in the comment section you guys let's just i'm gonna follow you on instagram i'll put my instagram page here please do follow do engage my posts and amazing things come you know amazing things you have no idea amazing things coming amazing 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 things coming your way i can't even wait myself so you shouldn't wait. <laughs> you should actually wait. <laughs> okay, I'm saying rubbish. Let me just go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe. Oh, uh, up. Please subscribe to my channel. Do well to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in my next video.